interesting fact about me. I used to have two rot rollers, you know, before wife and kids. True story. GTA, rot rollers. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up let's get it over 500 likes all right we have a couple of dope gaming news items for this video the first one gta 6 that's right take two interactive ceo strauss zelnick in a recent interview he's discussed and giving us a glimpse of what we can expect from the next generation GTA game. And he's saying that the Xbox Scarlet and the PlayStation 5 will be delivering photo realistic graphics. He said that that's what the expectations for next generation will be and it gives us a glimpse of what GTA 6 potentially will look like and you have to remember game developers already have the dev kits for both next gen systems so interesting to see what's going to unfold next generation but you know what they say this every generation <laughs> games are going to be more realistic oh you can't will there's going to be a blur between reality and video games but we'll have to see interesting interesting We've only gotten, it's, GTA 5 came out last generation. And so definitely next generation we will be getting a GTA game. The game sells in the, it's a top seller still bro. And it's a last generation game. All right, next news item. More rumors on Banjo-Kazooie, specifically a release date. This rumor is coming from your favorite leaking website, 4chan now 4chan has been spot on 4chan has been spot off this rumor is saying that banjo and kazooie will be coming to super smash brothers september 24th mark your calendars let's see if 4chan is right this time and speaking of super smash brothers it's begun you could have saw this coming hero is starting to be banned from official smash brothers tournament the first area to officially ban hero from competitive play is australia good day mate that's a lot of this 50 million moves dudes in our smash tournaments he has a gajillion moves and so he has been officially banned and i think it's southern australian tournaments and he i i don't i think he's all right but there are dudes, but I'm not like a real competitive Smash player. Dudes are saying that he is a little OP. He has some moves that <laughs> take you out of like one or two hits. Uh, and his movesets are randomized. So, <laughs> he's been banned. Alright. Next news item. Gamescom. Gamescom is right around the corner. Specifically, the festivities start August the 19th in four days. It begins with Inside Xbox, and then following that will be a Google Stadia um, um, presentation, and then Gamescom opening night that Monday night, and things are heating up. As far as big game reveals. That's right. It's being rumored that they're going to be. Not rumored. Reported. That they're going to be um, a couple of big first time gaming announcements at Gamescom. For those of you that don't know. Gamescom is really the largest um, um, gaming convention. E3 is huge here in the West. But in Europe. Gamescom, and just as far as sheer numbers and attendance, um, Gamescom is the largest in attendance. But I think the most watched is still E3. 
um, just because the West is such a larger market. Not everybody actually goes to E3, but as far as live streaming and views, um, probably E3 takes the cake. This is Bleeding Edge, Microsoft's new IP. The game did look dope. I'm oh, interested to see more information on this, but there's going to be game huge game reveals at Gamescom. Keep it locked. I will be live streaming Gamescom all of that Monday. Um, also, Nintendo. Nintendo has a couple of games that will be playable. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 um, and Link's Awakening and Pokemon and Pokemon Sword and Shield will be in full effect at Gamescom. So, keep it locked for Gamescom. Can't wait to see what games are going to be revealed. There's one game in particular that I think will be revealed because EA is having a presentation. Um, Plants... Um, modern War, Modern Garden War, I was going to say Modern Warfare, huh, not that game, Garden Warfare 3 is supposedly um, to be um, revealed because invites have already set, been sent out for um, private closed betas and so people have already started paying, um, playing the game but they're under a non-disclosure act but I do want to see, uh, Garden Warfare 2 is lit bro, don't sleep on them, Brrr, that corn, Corn on the cob. All right. Next news item. Xbox X Cloud. Phil Spencer has spoken. And this is what he said in a recent interview with GameSpot. That, and I quote, I think this is years away from being a mainstream way people play. And I mean years, like years and years. And so this is coming from Xbox Head um, saying that um, as far as Project X Cloud it is um, becoming popular and the primary, I get what he's saying, the primary way we play video games, he's saying it's years away. And he went into a little bit more detail. He's talking about how um, it's going to take a while for it to really penetrate the market and become widespread. For me, this wouldn't be the primary way I would want to play video games right now. I still want to play it on my hardware. So I probably will be picking up the next Xbox um, console. But I like to have the game running natively on hardware. Um, and say I'm in bed and I just want to, hey, I don't feel like going downstairs and um, playing on a big screen. Then, okay, a secondary way to play, that's cool, as an option. And I think that's what Xbox is going to do next generation, provide game streaming as an option, not the primary way um, that gamers um, would play. So, interesting to see how um, game streaming and all of that will unfold. Um, the beta, the open beta is set to be in October, October for um, Project X Cloud. Definitely want to check it out, see if it's legit or not i have spoken to dudes who are at e3 and they've said that it is the real deal it actually works um when they were playing it on the cell phone or whatnot all right now next news item sega genesis mini i haven't really um talked about this on my channel just because um i don't know if I, i'm going strider was fire bro this was the console I played more than my Super Nintendo. You don't, what? Hold on. <laughs> what y'all know about this, bro? Sega Genesis, Sega CD, and the Mushroom Topped 32X. This was my childhood, bro. And so Sega Genesis Mini will be coming out at the end of September. I think it's September 19th to be specific. And a couple of the games are pretty cool that, that stood out to me. Echo the Dolphin. As a kid, I didn't really like it too much. It was more of an exploration, laid-back type game. Um, Castlevania Bloodlines. <coughs> Just picking out games that um, stand, st stand out to me. Toe Jam and Earl really wasn't a good game. I didn't like it. Comic Zone was a game I always wanted to play, and I never played. It came out towards the end of the Sega Genesis. The Sonic games, Sonic 1, Sonic 2. Do they have Sonic 3? I don't see Sonic 3 on the list. Um, Streets of Rage 2. Street Fighter 2 Special Championship Edition. They need to have, is that the one with Turbo? That's the game I played to death. And 
one of the few games where the Genesis version was the definitive version over the Super Nintendo. But um, the Sega Genesis uh, Mini, the, the lineup of games is impressive, bro. Strider, Strider was straight fire. They got Vector, is Vector Man up in here? Vector Man, bro, don't sleep on Vector Man. Lit, lit, lit. So, if you're interested in it, it, it is, the price point is 80 bucks. So, if you want it, go get it. I got the real deal right here. Genesis does. You can't do this on Nintendo. Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does. Gen Y'all don't know about that commercial, bro. All right. Last news item is Need for Speed Heat. An all-new Need for Speed game has been officially announced. Now, um, the game is coming out for um, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. The reveal date, I didn't see, there was no reveal date in the actual trailer. So, I'm um, not sure when the game actually... Oh, here it is, November 8th. I got you, boys. That's why you tune in to get information. I got the information. November 8th. November 8th is when Need for Speed Heat becomes available. I've never been a real big fan of Need the Need for Speed game, so not sure if I'm going to pick this up, but it'll be there. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>